Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas's General Photography and welcome to another episode of Street Photo Diary. So in this episode I am using my original Canon 5D Mark I and if anybody has been following my videos you will know that a while ago I had a little problem with my original 5D in that the mirror fell off and uh, I did a couple of videos about that. So I have actually managed to fix it and um, in the end I fixed it myself. Uh, I didn't bother getting it sent off mainly because nobody was willing to fix it anymore which <laughs> kind of limits your options. Um, lots of people suggested various different things in response to that video in the comments section. Um, I got a few people said to me whatever you do do not use super glue um, but then I found lots of other videos where people said yeah no super glue is fine. So what I ended up doing was to take some extra precautions because the main concern of people was that the super glue fumes would actually damage the sensor. But from what I was reading, that does not actually appear to be the case. So what I did was uh, I kept the lens cap off while the glue was drying and just to make sure that all the fumes could dissipate properly. And I kept it in a well ventilated area. So um, it seems to be fine now. Uh, I've done some testing with it and it seems to be working fine, so fingers crossed everything's back to normal. So for this episode of Street Photo Diary, I'm just kind of doing some wandering around Dublin. Um, I was hoping to catch some of the nice autumn light, but unfortunately it's clouded over now. And uh, I did get some nice shots this morning while there was still the, the nice morning light, but it's gone now. So I might switch to black and white to see how I get on. So I've mostly been shooting with a 50mm this morning and I'm using the 50mm 1.8 which is um, it's pretty old lens 
and uh, I normally keep it stopped down, so like 2.8 or, or higher, um, because uh, it's actually quite soft wide open and there's also a lot of blooming on it. Um, but if you stop it down, it actually works pretty well, so that's what I've been using so far. I might actually change to the 100mm. Um, I brought a 100mm macro with me as well, just to see. Uh, I know it's not really kind of your typical street photography lens, but I'm kind of curious to see how it works. So I might try changing to that and see how I get on. And uh, so far, I've got some interesting stuff. And it's, not, um, it's not been a great street photo editing, outing. <laughs> but uh, I often find that sometimes I think that and then when I get back, it's actually a lot better than I thought it was. So we'll see when we get back. So you might think that with Dublin being a fairly small city, uh, you might get kind of bored of shooting street photography after a while and that everything's kind of gets the same. And certainly sometimes it does feel like that. But on the other hand, Dublin is changing a lot, and I do mean a lot. <laughs> Every time I go around here, I seem to find something that has changed or it's different. For example, right here, that used to be a building. <laughs> it's no longer a building. <laughs> um, that's kind of been part of the city for as long as I can remember, and now it's gone. And this is pretty much happening all over the city at the moment. Uh, it's There's construction work constantly, and over the past few years we've had the tram system upgraded in the city centre and that's been building works everywhere and now there just seems to be constant new buildings being built and uh, yeah so it's quite noisy as you can hear, hopefully you can hear what I'm saying um, but yeah so it's always something new to shoot so there's never really a problem with uh, it getting a bit boring or the same. So I have switched to the 100mm, uh, which is a 100mm macro lens, I don't know if you can see it here. Um, this is well, probably the best lens that I own. Um, it's probably not particularly well suited to street photography, but you will see how we get on. Uh, I will say this about it, it is a phenomenally sharp lens and uh, I've had this for, oh god, as long as, almost as long as I've had the, uh, the 5D Mark I. And, uh, it's, it is a fantastic lens. So let's see how we get on with using this for street photography. It'll be interesting because I know a lot of people say, oh yeah, you have to get up close to your subject. And um, yeah, that's all well and good. But the one thing about the 100 mil is you can compress perspective with it, which will lead to some interesting, uh, different kind of shots. So let's see how we get on. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this episode of Street Photo Diary. It's been kind of a weird day here in Dublin. The light's very strange today. It's kind of a weird, kind of subdued look. Um, I don't know how that's going to turn out. It might actually work out really well. And uh, yeah, so the main episode, or the main purpose of this episode was to test out my somewhat DIY repair on the original 5D. And hopefully it's all held up. And uh, you will see by the time I get back to my computer, um, I'll have put all the shots in so you will have seen the results and yeah, so I hope you found this useful and please subscribe to my channel like this video and uh, see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching